Hi and welcome back. So today I would like to discuss Indianness. So this is one of the main top, one of the topics that sort of confused me for quite a bit when I first entered the industry. So what is Indianness? Indianness is a way of how data is represented in memory, right? So there's uh, the two most common Indianness are large Indianness and small Indianness. So um, most platforms I have worked with are small Indianness and the Raspberry Pi included. And I believe you can fly to a different, kernel, a, a different version of the kernel or something to get it to run at a different Indian district. But then the, the default Debian distribution runs in Little Indian. And large, in, um, large Indianness or network by order Indianness um, is uh, the other way to represent the, the, the value. So um, let's take a closer look at it, right? So um, I, I, I call this logical, but this is just typically how you would think of a value, right? So for a bit value of, you know, so this is typically a, a char or a car, um, a bit value, this would be 0x, 08, assume that 0x, 08, right? So in a large Indian system and a small Indian system, um, they're both represented using 08, right? Oh, and then sort of keep in mind that um, on the left side is a smaller uh, memory address value and then, and then as it goes to the right, it's increasing memory address value, right? So for the same, for another, uh, for a 16-bit value, so this is typically a short, um, let's assume a value of uh, 0x AB in a logical representation. So on a large Indian value, large Indian system, it will still be 0a, 0b, but in a small Indian system, it's flipped the other way, right? So it's 0b and 0a. Right, and then let's look at a, a even bigger value, right? So that 32 value, 32 bit value. This is typically a int um, or a long. So assume a value of zero x a b c d, and on a large Indian system, it will still be a b c d, but on a little Indian system, it will be b c d a. Right. So this is sort of a, a, a forced arbitrary example, right? Let's look at more a uh, more realistic example. Let's say uh, um, uh, a port value in a RTSP packet. Right, so the port value is represented using 16 bits, right? So, so let's that, say come uh, Miracast or the Pyrocast project that I have as an example. So, I will construct a packet specifying the the Miracast port address value 4172, which is 0x10 for C in hex. Um, before I send it to send the packet off to the network representing this port address, given that the Raspberry Pi, the default Debian is running in small Indianness, I need I will need to uh, call a macro to flip uh, the two bytes um, in the APDU before I forward it, before I send it out to satisfy the network by order requirement because anything goes across the network need to be re represented using large Indianness. So so likewise, when I receive a packet with a field. And with a port uh, with a field of a port value in it on a small Indian system, I will need to call the other another the, the reverse macro to flip it back to the other way before the system can process it. Right. So let's look at a a um, a code example. So here I have defined an unsigned integer, um, a variable named dummy. Right? So unsigned in is typically thirty two bit, and that's initialize it with the value of one. Right. So on a 32-bit little Indian system, um, this this is how it represented in memory, right? It started with 0, 01, and so oh, keep in mind these are hex values, right? So you have 0, 01, 00, 00, 00, and 00, 00, right? And then in the large Indian system, it's 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 01. So large, I, I like to think large Indian is the more natural way of looking at it, um, but most architecture I've worked with are, are little Indian, right? So so now let's try it. So this is the part that really confuses me. So if you left shift dummy by seven bits to the left, right? So now you have your, your one here and then the one bit here after shifting seven bits, now it's eight, right? So that's still good, right? And then let's look at the large Indian representation. Um, it's just what you would expect it to be, right? The natural way of looking at it. Okay, and then the, the part, the funny part is now if you left shift again, it actually um, pops over to the next byte and it comes along this way, right? So then now the one bit to the most significant, the most significant bit um, in this byte has is now migrated to um, the least significant bit to the next byte, right? So that that that's the part that confused me for quite quite a while. Um, 
and then and then but then from the, again the large Indian system it sort of migrates you know it's sort of naturally right it falls one to the right and then so if you keep shifting it eight bits at a time then it's just going to keep migrating it to the next byte over right so if you shift it again it comes here and then for the other one it comes here and then if you shift it again it just moves it to the last byte and then for a large Indian system it moves to the first byte right so if here and then so assume that execution has done has, has caught up to here and that's print everything out right so then so then basically this would be printed right so then on, in a little Indian system you will see oh right sorry uh, let's go back to this a little bit so your dummy value your dummy variable is a 32-bit value so let's get the address of that so this is the address operator to get the address of it then this will return the address of a 32-bit value, right? But we don't want a 32-bit value. We want to rep uh, we want to interpret it as a a-bit value, right? So let's typecast it using a char star, right? And then 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 that's access the first, second, third, and fourth um, uh, byte associated with this value, which we're basically traversing it, you know, one, two, or zero, one, two, three, right? So what you would see is um, what's actually represented in memory, which would be 0x0, 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 0x0 followed by 0x1, whereas in the large Indian system, you would see it the other way, right? 0x1, 0x0, 0x0, and then 0x0. So um, this is actually a pretty popular interview question. Uh, so what the interviewer typically will ask is, um, given a platform, how can you in, how can you tell if, I'll write a quick example, quick code, example to determine if the system is large Indian or small Indian, right? You don't need to go through this length, right? All you have to do is you need to declare this variable on site and, you know, a dummy value, initialize it with a value of one, right? And then you, you just do call this directly, right? You typecast the UN32 pointer to a UN8, and then you just um, dereference the UN star, right? And then if it prints out a 0, 01, 0x1, then you know that is a little Indian, whereas if you print out a 0x0, then you know it's a large Indian system. So, so, so as indicated earlier, this is uh, the Indianness is very relevant in network programming in general, right? So when you when your system construct a packet that specify you know the port number, um, you uh, depending on whether you're a large Indian system or a small Indian system. In a small Indian system, you need to, you know. Um, update the fields to the right Indianness level or you know, make sure that they're large Indianness before you can fire it off across the network. And then on the receiving side, you may do the reverse translation if you're a small Indian system to make sure that your system can actually interpret data correctly, right? And then um, there are other platforms, for example, PowerPC. I, I haven't actually worked with it, but from what I heard, large Indian, uh, PowerPC supports large Indian natively, right? So when you construct a packet and you fire it across the network, um, you can just fire across the network directly, right? There's no translation required. And since this is so common, um, Linux has defined the network to host short or network to host long macro to just accommodate that, right? So so the the, le the last letter, well actually let's go through so this is this is basically network to host short. And this is host to network. Right, so they're just reverse inverse operation of each other, and then the last letter here represents the data type. Right, so the short implies it's a sixteen bit value, and you know, for example, you will apply this on a port value before you forward it out. Right, and then there's also a a a long variant, so the the L variant, which you will apply on a thirty two bit value. So um, that's it. You know, I I, I hope you find this video useful. And you know, as usual, um, uh, let me know what you think. And um, let me, oh, sorry, let me know if you have any questions. And um, let me know if there's any other topics you would like me to discuss. And uh, and you know, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. See you next time.